Hi Sunshine, to go back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And together yeah, we, we are Mad Curls. And welcome to another Mad Curls video. It's a hair tutorial today. Um, no particular brand or anything like specific. No backdrops to match products. We just thought we would grab some hair products that we want to put in our hair. Put Throw them in our hair. Chat with you guys. It's really, really informal. Really casual. Mm -hmm. Besides the full glam. Oh. <laughs> I like the little, um, the little added addition, the little plant. That was in my room. I brought it down here for so cute. little scenery, little wow. plant. Look at you. Little faux plant. Look at you. Got I feel my... like this is a Friday Night Live. It kind of feels like that. Mm -hmm. We just did a And the way just turned to the side by the You're just chilling. Like, <laughs> I said it was casual and she thought it was okay to not sit up straight <laughs> and she's just leaning sideways. We just did a treatment video which was super casual too. We're just feeling mm -hmm. casual this week. Mm -hmm. um, if you saw that video, you, you would have seen that we just came off of like a five day hurricane power outage. And so we're just getting some content out, chilling, mm -hmm. talking, okay. doing our hair. <coughs> My brother's <coughs> home. Doggy hears him. He's oh, excited. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, we were saying um, um, hair products, chit chatting. Informal. Very informal. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell them what we decided to put in our hair today? Why not? All right. Do you want to tell them? Yeah. Okay, so today I am going to try after, shall I say, 10 years, literally, uh, I often talk about my first time I ever got Curl Junkie products, and I think I got everything that, that the line had to offer. At the time, they had two versions of this. Today, I am going to try this version, and this is the only one that's remaining. So this is called Coffee, um, coffee Cocoa Curl Cream, and they used to have the Coffee Cocoa Curl Cream Light. I they don't make it anymore, and I think they might have kind of like replaced it either with their leave-in or their styling, um, their styling lotion or something now. Um, and so I've never tried this. I have always wanted to try it. I've always had it in the house. I got it 10 years ago, and then I felt like it expired, though other things I've got 10 years ago um, before, like this might have been the first one to be thrown away, but the other things now, like I'm like, okay, not so fast, not so fast, because the stuff just holds up. Um, but anyway, um, this is a three-in-one product. I never really kind of knew how to use it back then because I was so new to being natural and I was just very confused by it. So it says that it is a um, hair styling cream. Hold on, now, it used to say three-in-one. Let me see if it still says that because that's how I remember it and that's why I'm saying that. But right now, what does this say? Um, hold on, this is the directions on what it's for, like what it... Okay, apply to damp or wet hair. Do not rinse. Style as usual. Okay, so they changed. So it's definitely a styler. It's definitely a styler, but it used to be a conditioner, I believe. It used to be like a leave-in. It was like a three-in-one, and I was so confused by that. Mm -hmm. So it was a conditioner, a leave-in, and the styler. And I just didn't understand at the time like what those words meant. So if you're new, you can be late. If you are um, OG to the community, then you can kind of like remember back in the days when we didn't know words and what things meant at three and one and all that but yeah so wow I wish I had the old jar because it definitely used to say three and one and I was confused by that but anyway I'm sure it's still the same formula and uh, I'm going to use this today okay. as, my, as my styler all right so today I'm going to be doing a foam and a gel. Um, I've never used this foam before. I have used other foams, but since you were trying something new, I was like, let me try something new too. So I'm going to be using the Design Essentials Natural Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse with the Wetline Extreme Gel. I've been using this gel and I've just been like swapping out different mousses. So um, I've never tried this one, so I'm going to try it. Does that say mousse? It does. It says curl enhancing mousse. Okay. And it comes out definitely like a mousse. Like a mousse, not like a um, oh, watery. Wait. No, no. A foam, we always say it comes out more like where it dissolves watery. quickly. Yeah, yeah. So it, they call it a mousse, but it looks like a foam. Wow, because mousse always kind of like swirls up. Mm hmm. Like, um, like whipped cream and yeah. the foam always comes up. I wonder, so, you know, they just try to be fancy, I think, because like we said, we, we finally felt like we nailed the terminology mousse and foam. And maybe there's mm -hmm. no like rhyme or reason mm -hmm. now. Probably not. They're just naming it. Yeah, so this looks more, this acts more like a foam, looks more like a foam. Yes. And, um, but it's it's a mousse. So I have heard people say try the Design Essentials mousse. You've definitely I tried it. I've tried it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been loving mousses and gels, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay. So if you want to see us style our hair, chit chat with us, hang out with us for a little bit, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. Oh. So first things first. Oh, do you have to do water? Girl. Do I have to use it? Do I have to do yeah. water? Um, let me see. If you see first things first. You can see me look to the ground. 
Why? Just because little doggy misses so, there. So you might have heard him before when you were talking. I was laughing because he just kept running back and forth. And all you heard was just like his jingleys. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, need water? Okay. Need water. My water bottle isn't aesthetically pleasing. I am so sorry. Actually, it kind of is. It kind I'm of kind is. of bright. Over it will kind of like, like match this. The pink. The pink vibe. So should we tell them? What our oh my gosh, this water bottle is cold. I'm cold. <laughs> Should we tell them what our base is in our hair? Yeah. So my base is the Camille Rose Cleansing Milk, the Rose one. It's for um, defining. Um, I said in our other video, it was okay. It was alright. I felt like my hair was kind of stiff when I rinsed it out. Although mm -hmm. when it was in, it felt very nice, and it um, it like ran through my hair very nicely. It seemed like it had great detangling properties, but when I rinsed it out, my hair didn't feel that great. And then my treatment was the TGIN, the rose water, uh, that deep conditioner. And again, that was that was just okay. That whole collection I said was just okay. okay. It wasn't super wild, but yeah, that's the base. All right, so my base is the Camille Rose from her. Is it her her collection? It was her, like, essentials? her essential. Her essential. Okay, collection. All right. Um, I don't know if they still carry. I know it's on their website and it's always sold out. I don't know if they will ever replace it. I don't know if, if it just happened to be sold out because I haven't gone to the site in forever. So I don't know. I know I got it sometime last year. But anyway, it was their co-wash and I absolutely love it. It had an incredible amount of slip, which I was glad about because we were coming off of that um that uh, Hurricane Isaiah and my hair has not been done in days. And so it was extremely tangled and I was concerned but it glided right through. If any of you guys are familiar with us and our channel, you know there was a point where I was obsessed, absolutely obsessed with Crim Restore by Camille Rose. Mm -hmm. And so just picture Crim Restore and just re-flavor it or just re-scent it. And um, it had incredible slip, all of that, blah, blah, blah. So that's the base. And then in the video, I did um, the Shea Moisture Power Greens conditioner, deep conditioner. I love it. Shake it. Moisture does it. good conditioners. They do. Why do I always feel like they're just kind of like eh, brand? But no, I, I every time I try their conditioner, you know, not, I can't say every time, but um, right, yeah, maybe the protein ones. What, what is this? Oh, that's the dish towel. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the kitchen, guys. So we are, as you guys know, what is it? Not renovating, like redecorating our house. So mm -hmm. we don't really have a filming space. So we film at the kitchen counter. So this is like the kitchen wall, kitchen door, all that kind of stuff. And so kitchen. Appliances, I, know, I put that over here because Dish before rags. Dish um, towels. my hair was dripping and I just kind of grabbed what I could. But I love these. These are by um, William Sonoma, not sponsored. <laughs> Had them for years, love them. They come in so many different colors. Mm. Love them. Very sturdy. Girl. You love them. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of different colors. I do. Alright. Yeah. So it's sign essentials, almond and avocado, curl enhancing mousse, sweet almond oil, and vitamin D. It smells so good. Lightweight, used to enhance curl definition. Oh, there's wheat protein in here. Okay. Okay, so this is, it says kind of like a thick consistency. Oh, wow. So it's cream. Sometimes I go ham with mousse. So I want to do a video of like products that I've tried since I've cut my hair. Because I've tried a lot. Every time I wash my hair, I do something different. Because um, I just want to try, like, everything with my short hair. And um, me and you both said we came to the conclusion that my hair basically looks good no matter what. Um, yeah. Because it's just the cutest haircut. And yeah, it's like, so easy breezy. It is. So it's like, no matter what I use, like, the curls could look a little bit different. Or, like, I'll I'll get more. So, like, the other day I did the Wee Dad, um, the Curl Quencher. Mm-hmm gel from the curl quench line and i got like three or four three days from that and it looked like really good but then other times like, something will look good on day one but then day two it looks busted okay. so i think the curls always look good it just depends on like how many days i can get or how flat it lies sometimes this part which is longer will have more volume other times like it'll be tighter to my head okay i think it tends to be tighter to my head when i just style with the gel um i right here Sorry guys, jingling. Um, in places it, there shouldn't be jingling? Yes. I put gates up. Okay. Doggy, front and center. He might have got himself someplace where he can't. He guys, he learned how to go up the stairs today. He hasn't learned that. It's 
quite a few stairs mm -hmm. and it looks very daunting. They're not carpeted either. No, they're not. So I always worried about that. I didn't think he'd ever do it because I'm like, no, because he's a miniature golden doodle. He's not like um, like a little palm hand, you know, like a little, um, like he could fit my palm. He's, um, I guess he would be considered miniature, I guess because he has like that, the golden retriever mixing him. So golden retrievers are really big dogs. So he's a cute sized dog. Um, but on the small size, so I didn't think he'd ever come up the stairs. And today I guess he got a little sick of our nonsense of talking to him from afar. And he was like, I am not having this. I shall find you guys. And next thing we knew, he was up the stairs. He was up the stairs. It's almost like, like an apparition. I'm just like, it didn't compute, you know, cause I knew he was downstairs and all of a sudden he's like upstairs. So, but at the point I'm like, oh my God, he climbed the stairs, okay? But didn't really pay any attention because sometimes like you'll see things and you know, if you really don't make over it, even though we did make over it, <laughs> um, he wouldn't do it again. There was something he did a while ago and we said we didn't want him to do it. Oh, oh, I think he jumped. He jumped over fence. his pen. When we first got yes. his pen like last year, he like jumped over it. And, and he we, was little. He, yeah, was he was little. very little at the time. And he jumped over that thing and everyone um, everyone was like, mum's the word, like quiet, like silent, zip your lips, do not clap, do not applaud, do not make over this because this is not going to become a thing. Mm -hmm. And it never did. That was the end of it. But today, of course, hugs, kisses, praises, like, squeal, oh squeals of excitement. and But that didn't really get him hyped because I don't even think he realized really what he did. I don't think. He did think. it. I think he was sick of being downstairs and like he was mad. So he took like, he went running at the stairs and went up them. And then he was kind of like, oh my gosh, like I can climb the stairs. And then he, I kept seeing him go down and come up and go down and come like, so say we have like, you know, 10, 10 stairs. He kept going up with the first three and then he would go back down and then he'd go up the first three and then he would go back down. So he was like teaching himself how to go up and down the stairs. Like, oh my gosh, I can go. And then I guess before we knew it, he was like, take going like further and further up. Mm -hmm. And, um. He was upstairs. I've never used this before, mm -hmm. and I almost want to say I'm not. I don't know how to like determine with a cream. When do when like do we use creams really? Why am I why am I drawing a blank with cream usage? I feel like I'm always using some sort of a gel. When do I use creams? Because I know creams, of course, for deep conditioners and all that and cold mm -hmm. washes, but for a styler, I we don't like, know. We like doing one and dones, like the Cantu curl activator and. Okay. We do gel. I mean, I'm not gels. We do creams by themselves. All right, so I'm just kind of like can't gauge, so I can kind of relate to you know back in the day when you know I would, I'm new, but I can relate. To, I'm not new anymore to the community or to the um, journey. But you know, you kind of don't know how to gauge how much to use. You know, I know back in the day I'd go ham because I didn't know any better and I was just like once you put it in like it disappears and you don't think this product and you keep putting more in mm. but um because I'm a little bit experienced I'm just gonna let it go at that but so we'll see this is a great product I like the idea I'm just gonna remember from back in the day with a three-in-one um, but right now it doesn't say that on the jar I think I'm gonna reach out to the owner and ask her is you know why did they take that aspect off of it mm -hmm. and can it still be used as a three-in-one I don't like that whole three-in-one idea no. especially when it can be a cleanser like it can be a co-wash it can be a leave-in yeah it no this was never a co-wash like... it was more on the conditioner side so this was a conditioner this was a um a leave-in and then this was a styler okay yeah so it's funny how companies will do that like um Camille Rose did that with uh oh they're jansen's i always swore jansen's needed to be a deep conditioner because it was that thick mm -hmm. and initially it was just a regular conditioner put in you know rinse out very quickly five minutes you know done i loved it it was extremely moisturizing we even have a video where i had it underneath the stylers that we were using and my experience with them were so different from yours and you couldn't understand it and that I told you when we were off the camera. The Kinky break. Curly video. Mm-hmm. I had to confess my sins amongst men. That you had. I forgot my edge brush. You did? Upstairs. I forgot I laid my edge out. I have I the know. um the pattern edge brush coming in the mail, so it'll be here Thursday. Ooh. Ooh. But I, I ordered one for you too. I know, girl, you told me I can't wait to get it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So yeah, so um, so when brands do that, so the Jansen's eventually turned into a, a deep conditioner, and the directions changed. So as opposed to put it in and leave it in and rinse it out, excuse me, rinse it out like in five minutes or something. Now the new directions say leave it in for 35 minutes, which is an odd number, you know. And I'm like, okay, I guess they've turned it into a deep conditioner as it should have always been. 
So this now, I know it was a three-in-one. So, oh my gosh, I just laid my edges with my fingers. Who am I? Because I got my nails done. Oh, okay. You sure did. Yeah, like, guys, I'm her and, as my grandma said, her little friend. <laughs> That makes it sound ten times worse than a boyfriend, right? Um, is that your little friend, Lori? Is that your little friend? So, um, you and your little friend you got your um, uh, Medco or Petco, or we lost laying around here watching doggy on Sunday. No, you um, yep, I was like, I need to be pampered, and so my boyfriend took me to get my nails done and my toes done, and like he gets his done. Um, too. He keeps his nails nice and clean. His feet too, which I appreciate. <laughs> right. And worse than like a guy who has like nails. dirty fingernails, dirt all up under his nails. It's not yeah. cute. Well, <laughs> um, well, I mean, sometimes, sometimes you can't get that out, right? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I think it depends, depends instance, on your job. I cut it when I when I did my hair blue. Oh yeah, that too, girl. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it depends on the job. Because if, if you say our, our auto mechanic every single day, you come home and you probably probably do the best they can. Right, like that's but, something like someone would be used to because they yes. know like what job their person works. Exactly. You, know, you don't work that kind of job where he should have grit and grime under his pants. Yeah, no, he has clean hands. Um, Spencer and Adam do. Well, they do. Yeah. yeah. I'm um. All right. So what you see me now, just kind of like finger coiling like the parts because it seems like it's a little dry. I added some water, but um, I'm just trying to define it so it's not like all mm -hmm. frizzy and just taking my time with it so that when it dries. Okay. I think I'm liking this. Yes. I think I'm going to like I mean, I just am a fan of Curl Junkie, period. I am just a fan of Curl Junkie and always have been. Excuse me. I made an appointment on September 12th to get my hair cut back down again. I think I even want to go a little bit shorter because um, I think I could have taken it down in the back a little bit more. Okay. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Um, you don't know if you're gonna take if, it down. If I, yeah, or if I'm, if I'm gonna keep that appointment. I don't know. I oh. made it, but then as the time draws closer, I'm gonna see because I might just want to let it grow out at this point. I saw grow, grow all the way out. Yeah, just let it grow at this point. Like really? maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Okay. I like it. I love it. Sure. Like, or maybe I just want to enjoy this length. Okay, but right it doesn't now. stay that like I mean your hair is growing. It's growing. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. Like I don't know what to do with it because it literally grew in a month. It grew it grew in a month. Yeah. I don't know I don't know what to do. Because the back is definitely like everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh the front sometimes like I don't know what the front like it's And you it's notice long. short hair growing quicker, you know, um with, you know, or hair growing when it's short. You right. You see that. Because when my hair was long, it seemed like it was not growing at all. Like, right. It, it did not feel like it was growing, but now it, my hair like, grows overnight. Yeah, for the Every months. Every time I see it, it's longer. Oops. Like, so, like, I, like but it's I, so healthy. Again, like I'm saying, I don't know how to ration this out because I've never used this product before. Um, it clearly, this is clearly going to be a first impression. Though I've known about it and I've had it for years, um, this is the first time I'm using it, so I don't know how to gauge. But um, I think. You guys say, um. Oh, that looks so, so, so that again. Yeah. I feel like maybe like some of these pieces here would be out a little more. Or some water. Yes, yes to make it spread out. Dougie yeah. took care of plastic cat. Oh. Dougie? And he's, and he's destroying it. it. All right. And he's destroying it. Okay. So, oh, yeah. so um, did I tell you guys what other types of mousses I've been using? So, this is my first impressions with this Design Essentials one. And then uh, the first one I tried was the Camille Rose one, the Camille Rose mousse or foam, um, like that. Used it with the Wet Lion Extreme. And then I moved on to the Alake, the Lemongrass uh, mousse or foam. Really love that with the Wet Lion Extreme. I was using that for a while. Um, that might, those might be the only two that I was going back and forth with and then now throw probably this one in the mix because this is looking good. Um, I prefer to do it with a gel because it gives it more hold and I like my hair definitely to have hold. No matter what I do to the back, the back is just always flat the next day. I have not mastered refreshing and, I, and, and let, unless I have and that's just what my refreshing looks like, you mean I have to wet my hair You haven't again. mastered it um, with this hair line? Yeah, okay. yeah, unless that's just what refreshing looks like. Like sometimes I'll spray just a refresher spray, but like I refresh or spray my hair until it's pretty wet again and it re dries on my head. Um, yeah, 
it, it's my my hair is is wet not every day like say it's like tomorrow if we don't go out or do anything that I won't wet my hair mm -hmm. but if I ha if I feel like refreshing it I have to wet it again um, either significantly okay. with the refresher spray or just like dunk my head in some water or co-wash it in the shower or whatever um, yeah remember yeah, I have um, to when we first um, had the channel and I was on there and I never refreshed because I didn't know how because I came on the channel with that length mm -hmm. and that's a difficult length to refresh the um, front might look amazing the curls here in the front because mm -hmm. they're actually like spiraled but this this part in the back where they're like not quite there yet they're like a more of like just a loop going over they haven't started spiraling yet okay they get flat they just lay flat on my head or they stick out and they always need help the front might look really good but the back is just always like busted and it needs mm -hmm. help the next day so. so all right so um i just like was noticing my shirt uh, power and black. It's handled. Wait, can I see it? It's I love it. I love it. It says women. Every, does it say it's handled? Women, it says black women. women. It's handled. Black women everywhere. The truth, girl. Can we not handle everything? We handle it. We, we handle, handle it. it. Black women are boss women. We boss can handle everything. All of that. All right. So. All right. So we are going to let our hair air dry, mm -hmm. and we will be back to show you guys these results. Okay. All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. And we are back. These are our results. Mm -hmm. Loving them too much. I am loving my results. You guys, are you loving this? Bombs now because of the ring light. All right. Oh, wow, because it's that time of night now. And yes. They're all, and there's. Okay. I can't. I can't with moths. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any bug that you guys like just can't? Me, it's moths. I will stay up all night just looking for them to come in. And I didn't know that my window had like a gap. Guys, every night, moths. When you put the air conditioning in, so it's your air conditioning window, and because yes. like you have to lift up like the um, what's it that screen? Like mm -hmm. they come through, but then you have to like seal it off at the top, and you didn't seal yours off, oh and my so gosh. Every we had night. to seal it off every night. Why do we get all go off on tangents? I don't, know. I don't know. But these are our results. Again, I use the um, design design essentials almond and avocado curl enhancing smoothie and the wet line extreme gel. Again, another successful um, mousse foam and gel combination love it my curls are shiny yeah they look they feel really nice good. i love it i love day one i love this look i love yeah. this look and basically day one is, is, is more shrunken yeah okay. but then i'll sleep on this and even if the front looks good the back will be all like messed up so i always have to end up spraying it so okay. that's just that's just well, that's what it is right now yeah okay but i mean i have to spray it significantly so oh. like it kind of gets wet again and it dries into place but okay. i mean i don't notice any damage from my hair of having to wet it constantly because i wouldn't even say constantly because like if i don't have to go anywhere i'm not refreshing my hair right. but if we like go out or if we're filming or whatever like and i have to wet my hair then i'll i'll do that but um i don't wet my hair every day and worse than any of the other mousses um that you've tried um, with have you always tried your mousse with um, the wet line? I tried it with wet line, and then sometimes I will use the Aunt Jackie's grapeseed gel. Um, That's another really great gel. Of course, the Pattern Stronghold gel. Really love that. Um, but I do want to do a separate video of like all the combinations I've tried and what I found to be compatible oh. um, with each other because some things aren't um, compatible. Mm -hmm. Like the other day, um, what happened? Oh my. Um, my boyfriend, he put the Camille Rose butter gel in his hair, but it didn't look like it. So I was like, let me just, the Camille Rose butter oh, gel. Right. And I was like, well, let me just add some gel. I was like, just to make sure it holds. So I put the wet line extreme on top of it and started to kind of like, oh, wow. his hair is long. So I like Denman brush it in place. So like the curls are tight on his head. And I just noticed the curdling. It was curdling and curling. I was like, you know what? Okay, we gotta like just like I had to dump his head in the kitchen sink. I'm like, we gotta get this out. Wow. And I was like, let's start again. I was like, I knew okay. something else. I was like, those two do not mix. I'm like your hair yes. is gonna be all white and flaky and the stuff. Aloe butter gel. Remember uh, d that last year during that wet look. Um, uh, yes. Time? Yes. And maybe it's Camille Rose or something because remember I used that uh, curl aid or you did. Yes. yes. And so, oh my gosh, curl. I mean, the butter gel is already a gel, but right. I thought like sometimes like with his hair he likes it tighter, so I was like I add another gel on top just so it kind of holds it in place because like he'll sleep on it overnight and then like it holds the next day if I put gel on it for him. Okay. Um. So I just added some gel and I was like those do not mix mm -hmm. whatsoever you could see it going so south I was like, very quickly. it was looking like cottage cheese very fast i yeah. was like oh no oh yeah no. that's what happened with me that time in that um, wet look video um but okay. yeah i do want to do a video of what i've been what i've used 
I've done tons of different combinations, tons of different products, because um, every time I wash my hair, I want to try something new. So okay, hopefully I, we can film that soon. Very good. All right, you know what, guys? I'm looking at my container over there. I'm just running, grab it. I didn't want to interrupt the flow when you were talking. So what container? Huh? Oh, your product. Yes. I only had to have it um, to in the video. <laughs> okay, guys. At least it was down here. Was not right? Exactly. All right, so I am uh, loving this. Like, what took me so long to try it? Ten years in the making. Love this so much. I could definitely see what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys see the green? Yeah, okay, lean in. Your, <laughs> your, your. Excuse me. Your hair is the color of my shirt. <laughs> like, guys, do you see it? Do you see it? I'm, but it, it it's but almost. I know like, it's not um, copper. If you look, it looks like it could be like ashy blonde. It looks like it could be, but if you really look, you can tell that it's green. Mm -hmm. You can because tell. Because now it's, it's going through the different phases. It'll be back copper soon, but it's going through. All right, so first it was super blue, then it was green. Oh my God. Now it's kind of a toss up oh. between a green and a copper. This again. is like a pale, pale, pale mm -hmm. gray blue, this piece of hair. But you know what it's not? It's not copper. It's not copper. <laughs> it's, it's cute. It's very cute. All right, but aside from the color, ignore the color, but guys, like, look. Oh my gosh. One and done. One and done. One and done. One and done. Approved. Is there hold? I did it's not. Moisture. I wanted to reach out. There's just so many things I wanted to do. But we did film. You guys have to look for this one. Um, kind of like an update on how we're doing our rooms mm -hmm. and how we're like redecorating and ideas and all that. So that's what I was doing in between the break of our hair being wet and drying. But I wanted to reach out. I probably probably would have gotten back that quickly. But probably not. I wanted to reach out to find out. Um, did they change uh, the directions on it? Um, Maybe they didn't write it in, but I'm sure they probably yeah. would have said you could still use it. I mean, if you do that, there's probably a time where I can insert something. Okay. If you do that by the time this video goes right. out. Maybe but, if, um, if nothing pops up, then we didn't get an answer. It smells but. the same. Um, I love it. it like you guys wrote lyrics. I think I used just the right amount. So each time I did section, and I think I just kind of used like a little dollop. I mean, you guys saw me, you know, mm -hmm. see it in the making. But yes, big hair, huge, enormous hair. I love it. You know, it's a... Uh, soft medium holes is that such a thing? Mm -hmm. I think if I probably yeah, would have, like you thing. like a little bit more contained or something, so maybe mm -hmm. you would have put some people could put a, a gel over it. Yeah. I was wondering if if I stuck with the same line and put in curls in a bottle, um, which like they were known for, um, and so I have it. It's like kind of like a very liquidy uh, kind of a gel. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Curl Smith uh, jelly, that new one that we have. You know that one that Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so it's kind of like loose like that. The Flexi, the Flex Jelly? Something jelly, like that, yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if I would have put that over my hair, either wet or like even dry now, because you know how Curl Smith will do, um, I always say like, this is when the magic happens, mm -hmm. when we had to put in some sort of, um, that, like that souffle, at, at, when your hair is like at this stage, and then you kind of like do this, put the souffle in. But I love this, but if you, maybe if you wanted um, a stronger hold, mm -hmm. maybe a gel like that. I probably would do a thicker gel, mm -hmm. because I like, I mean, you might lose the volume maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But I'll try that out in the future. Put um, the I do at least gel. find with like my short hair that when I add gel, I lose volume. When I do a cream, this part is more like poofed up, but okay. I prefer it to be more contained. Um, I do prefer it to be more contained. So um, I hear I do Doggy doing something. Do. So we are going to wrap it up here. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on him. Yes. Thank you so, so much, much for much watching. Now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below some hair combinations that you think that we should try or I should try. Or she should try. Mm -hmm. We should try. Yeah. <laughs> Comment some uh, hair combo down below because that's where I actually got the mousse and the gel combination. Someone DM'd me and they were like, I see you're messing around with mousse or gel. Try a mousse and a gel together. She's like, you know, that combination never fails. And once I tried it, I absolutely loved it. Wow. Um, if I had to put them in order, I would still say that the, I think the Alakay one, I think it's still my favorite. So the Alakay lemongrass um, would be like my number one mousse with the, with this gel okay. and then i think this one would bring up the rear and then camille rose um just because i think the the allocate one like makes my hair like a little bit like shiny or a little bit more loose here like mm -hmm. i don't know i and maybe it's the way i'm styling it even though i just use my hands every time oh. but this part comes out different every time i mean I, you know i can't even really say that which mousse is above it or the most to me they're all good mousses foams mm -hmm. throw them on with the gel and um you're good to go mm -hmm. all right so so thank you so much for watching this video and we shall see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.